What's up, JTD Co? In today's video, we're going to be talking all about the Canon M50. to my channel my name is Shakira Green if you are an old subscriber or stumbled across my videos before welcome back to our channel here on JCD Co we talk all things boys business and beauty so I decided to go ahead and give you guys some reviews of the products that I've used that helped me along my business journey or along my YouTube venture and some of the things that I would recommend or maybe some things that I wouldn't recommend and in today's video I'm going to be giving you the specs about the Canon M50 um, everything you need to know about the camera. I'm also going to be running by you some pros and cons to the Canon M50, as well as tell you what I liked about the Canon M50 and if I feel like it's a great investment for this year, 2022. So if you are interested in learning about the Canon M50, go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe to my channel and stay tuned for the rest of the video. Okay, so let's start with some specs about the Canon 50. So this Canon 50 is a mirrorless camera. Um, it comes with built-in Wi-Fi, comes with Bluetooth. It has a touch screen viewfinder that can rotate um, about 230 degrees. It don't go all the way, but about 230 degrees. This camera also has webcam capabilities as well as a built-in stabilizer. Um, it comes with a 15 by 44 millimeter lens and a digit 8 processor which is great for noise cancellation and the quality of your images. Some of the pros of the Canon M50 is one, one of my favorites is it comes with the interchangeable lens. So if I wanted to essentially update my camera, instead of buying a whole new camera, I can technically just change the lenses on my camera. Another pro of this camera is it comes with an external mic jack here. So if I was recording in a noisy environment and I just needed to quiet the background and get the main focus on the person or the object that I'm trying to record, I can go ahead and add an external mic jack which will really help with some noise cancelization. But I also wanna mention that the internal mic jack in this camera is awesome. I'm gonna insert some clips so that you can hear and see how this camera looks. What's up JTD Co? This is the sound and video test of the Canon M50. Um, I just wanted to get, I just wanted to let you guys get a feel of the sound. I wanted you to see how the camera um, is when it's at arm's length and you can um, carry it. It gives a good depth of feel. Like it's not all in my face like this. Um, it can be, I can zoom in and it can do that, but it gives me a pretty good background space. Um, and I think it sounds really, really good. Another pro to this camera is the in-body um, stabilization. So some Canon cameras put the stabilization on the lens and instead of the body. So if you want some really good stabilization, you have to buy a whole new lens and switch the lens out. Now here, you can, you can use any lens and the stabilization is going to work because it's built in the camera and not the lens itself. Another pro is the autofocus on this camera. So I know all cameras have autofocus, but this autofocus is amazing because it tracks um, the object that you're filming and it keeps it in focus. So even if the object is going out of frame, it's going to be a really sharp image and it's still going to stay focused on it. Um, another pro is this camera, one, you can shoot in raw and you can shoot in raw kind of, with raw images. You can edit them right within the camera and you can also, you will also have the original version of the photo. And with raw compress, it's just the original version of the picture, but just a smaller frame. This camera has the classic Canon look when it comes to their pictures. And if you don't know what the Canon classic look is, in the photography world, Canon is known for its gorgeous colors, its sharp images, and you get exactly that when you pay for the Canon M50.
This camera also comes with a user guide for the menu. So the menu gives you a whole lot of options to change and customize your camera as needed or the pictures quality as needed or video quality as needed. But if you get overwhelmed with all the options on the menu, there is a menu guide explaining what each function really does and how you work the functions on the menu. Well, so let's get into the cons of this video. I really don't have many cons, but let's get into the ones I do. So one of the cons that I have on this camera is the kit lens isn't that great in very low lighting situations. You can get some decent quality images or recordings, but it's not as great as it could be. Also, the kit lens doesn't zoom in too much. I'm able to take pictures from a really, really far distance. Especially not as much as the Canon um, SX420 that has a 42 times optimal zoom. This doesn't even come close when it comes to zoom. You're probably not gonna be using zooming in too much. And if you are gonna be using zoom on this camera, you're not gonna be zooming in too far. So I just want to get into the reason why I like this camera. This was my second camera that I purchased when I was thinking about going into YouTube and I was taking my photog uh, photography class. The first camera I purchased is my Canon SX420. I do have a review of that video. I'm going to post it in the um, card. But that camera, I really couldn't do too much. It was very limited in what I was able to do. And then when I was taking my photography um, class, it was... A lot of stuff that I actually needed to really learn especially when it came to ISOs and apertures and I could not get into that with that camera this camera was really good to me the best part of course to me was the viewfinder how I can turn it and rotate it and it was touch screen it made it just a lot easier than using the buttons that's on the camera pictures always come out beautiful um, video comes out beautiful. I absolutely love this camera. Hands down love this camera. I love that I can upgrade the camera without buying a new camera by just switching some lenses out with y'all, which that's gonna save you a lot of money. If you know Canon, or at this point, any camera in the photography world or video world is very expensive when it comes to some quality cameras. So being able to have this camera under $1,000, I got this camera for $719 off Amazon. I'm gonna screenshot um, what all came in my kit. I did not find the original link. When I went to click the original link, it kept saying that it couldn't find that page, but they do still have some Canon M50s on there with a kit that came with everything. And I think I seen it for about 800 something dollars. But this camera, I definitely feel like it's worth the investment. Please go ahead, invest in this camera. It's so much you can do for a beginner camera, for a YouTube channel, for um, marketing products, advertising. I feel like this is a great starter camera. So I do feel like this is a great investment in 2022. Yes, this is a little bit of an older Canon model, but again, for what you get from this camera for under $1,000, I really do feel like it is a great investment. So you guys, I hope you enjoyed this short review of the Canon M50. If you got any value from this video, go ahead and like and comment on my video. Subscribe to the channel if you already haven't and click that bell notification so you can always know when your girl upload. If you want to keep up with us outside of the channel, go ahead and follow us on Facebook and Instagram at jcbco.shop. And you can also keep up with us on our podcast at JCB Talks, available everywhere you get your podcast. So until next time, you guys, I will see you in the next video. Bye.